Before we get into answers, let's do the pre-analysis as usual. The mathematical model is based on 3D elasticity. So it's a very similar mathematical model to what we saw in the bike crank case, um, but it includes a couple of additional complications and we'll see what they are. The numerical solution strategy, how the tool will solve the mathematical model is again based on the finite element method as in the, in the bike crank case. Um, and it'll give us the displacements at the selected points, uh, which are the nodes. An additional complication here is that we have multiple parts rather than one part. So in the bike crank case, we had one part. Now we have multiple parts, and we will see how the numerical solution strategy has to be extended to deal with that. And then the last element of pre-analysis is to make hand calcs of the expected results and trends. So let's start by taking a look at the mathematical model. The domain over which we need to solve the governing equations is given by the geometry, and we model half of, half of a bolt and nut, assuming symmetry. And so our model looks like that, and we will, you know, when we go into the geometry, which I will provide to you, um, you will see, you know, this model as well as you will see the, the full expanded model with the 200 volts. But the model you, you're analyzing has, you know, is, um, is half a bolt and nut, and it has four parts. It has, um, so this is the mid nozzle, this is the lower nozzle, this is the bolt, and this is the nut. And you have to solve the 3D, you know, the governing equations uh, of 3D elasticity over each of these parts. So you, you essentially have four domains. Um, and you can think of it as having four boundary value problems that are coupled at the surfaces at which they, um, at, at the, you know, uh, where you have contact or uh, interfaces between the surfaces. So it's, uh, it's, in that way, it's more complicated than the bike crank. And then we have to solve the governing equations over those four domains. And the governing equations are the same as in the bike crank case. So they are based on equilibrium of an infinitesimal element. And you have force balance in the x, y, and z directions, and you get three equations, but you have six unknowns, three normal stresses and three shear stresses. So we need to bring in additional equations to close the equation set. And so we bring in the um, material properties to the constitutive model, so that relates the stresses to the strains um, through the, the 3D version of the Hooke's Law so this is the same as what we saw in the bike crank case. Um, but we have a couple of additional effects. First is thermal strain. Now you have hot gas in the nozzle. And because of that, you have, you know, the part is heated and that causes strains. And those thermal strains are modeled over here. Alpha is a coefficient of thermal expansion and delta T is the change in temperature. So those are you know, inputs that we need to give into the tool. Um, and those thermal strains will cause stresses. And you can see you know, the thermal strains will cause normal stresses, but not shear stresses. And then we have an additional term here that's due to the bolt preload. And um, so this will be, you know, this term will appear only in, uh, for over the bolt. And this accounts for the fact that when you tighten the bolt, you put it in, you know, you, you're shrinking it and you are, uh, you create, you're essentially, you know, you have, you're putting a strain in the bolt and that is modeled analogous to the, um, the thermal strain. So the bolt preload will modify the constitutive model. And here we will um, assume, you know, the assumption is that we have linear material properties, so E and nu are constant, and also the coefficient of thermal expansion, and they are not functions of, of temperature. 
Okay, and then we bring in the strain displacement relations, the normal, the three normal strains and the three shear strains, um, and that's the same as what we have for the bike crank case. So the assumption embedded in here is that we have small displacements and small strains. So the summary of equations is again the same as before. We have three equations from the force balance, six from the constitutive model, and six from the strain displacement for a total of 15 equations. And we have six stress components, six strain components, and three displacement components. So we have 15 unknown fields, and we have 15 equations. Um, the difference from the um, the, the difference from the bike crank case is that in the constitutive model you have the thermal strain and the effect of the bolt preload.